Who's a majestic little beast right now? Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, that's pretty violent. I know. Did you like that? What is she doing right now? Oh, she's reaching for Bean! Hey guys, welcome back to V Vlogs. If you're wondering why I look like a diva right now, it's because I'm about to go upstairs and film my main channel videos. So whenever I do my main channel videos, I get all diva'd up. It's like I walk downstairs and Ty's like, I think I'm underdressed. <laughs> well, look at me, I'm just in, I'm, I'm in a sweater. I feel like you wear that sweater for every vlog. Not every vlog, <laughs> just the majority. Baby. Am I overdressed right now? Am I overdressed? She's like crawling all over me. Anyways, today is a slightly serious story time because as you can tell by the title, we had to call the ambulance at three in the morning. Well, not, technically not we, my sister did, and we're gonna get into that story. Um, we can't say every single detail because obviously it is personal to her, but she is okay with you guys knowing about it. So we're gonna talk about kind of what we experienced the other night. It happened on Sunday night. Yes, it was. It was right when we got back from the cottage. Yeah, like that night when we got back from the cottage. I have to sneeze again. It's supposed to be serious, Jess. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to get my sneeze out. I'm okay, I think. Anyways, so Ty and I went to sleep um, relatively early, probably like 12.30, so we were really exhausted. Relatively early at Okay, 12 for us, because we usually go to sleep at like two in the morning or usually so we went to bed at like 12 30 after watching shows as usual it's like our routine and so we were like fast asleep and suddenly it was like two something like really close to 3 a.m and my phone started vibrating on my dresser and that's a really freaky sign because no one calls me at like 3 in the morning so whenever I hear like my phone ring I get really scared and Ty heard it he like jumped up I'm pretty sure you get scared whenever your phone rings just in general though okay yes when when you hear it you immediately just run <laughs> okay I'm socially awkward I hate talking on the phone no but my phone was ringing so I freak out and I pick it up and it says Mandy's calling so I wake up Ty I'm like Ty like Mandy's calling what's going on so he gets up he's freaked out I answer the phone and it's my sister and she's like crying and I'm like what's going on and for some reason the first thing I thought was that someone in our family got into like a serious car accident or like someone died or like because like when you pick up a phone at 3am and someone's bawling and crying it's like terrifying I thought she was gonna tell me that like the, something terrible happened especially with the snowstorm that was happening yeah yeah we were having a really bad snowstorm I'm like oh my gosh someone's in an accident like I was ready to like get up and like leave and go see somebody. But then she tells me that she's in a lot of pain. So I start freaking out. I'm like, what do you mean you're in pain? And she's like, I don't know. I'm just in so much pain. Like I just woke up suddenly from pain and like I can't get back to sleep and I think I need to go to the hospital. So I was like, okay, so take Luca with you. He'll go with you and you'll be okay. So they both get up and they realize that they're snowed in because we were having like a terrible snowstorm. So they were like, can we go up through your door? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So Ty gets up, lets them out, um, locks the door behind them they go outside in their car and I was thinking okay they're just gonna go to the hospital and then Mandy calls me again and she's like I cannot get out of the driveway like the snow is so crazy all of the roads are like there's two feet of snow so they can't drive anywhere so she was like should I call an ambulance and I was like if you call an ambulance it's gonna be expensive so you should really think if you really need to call an ambulance but she was in a ton of pain so I was like okay why don't you come back in the house and sit down for like half an hour, get a heating pack, you know, take an Advil, try and just relax because I know anxiety really plays a lot into pain. Like when you're not feeling well and you have a panic attack, it makes all of your symptoms so much worse. So I was like, Mandy, just breathe, like lie down. It's going to be okay. So she's like, okay, I'll try and lie down. So about, I don't know, five minutes five later, minutes, yeah. she calls me and she's like, I can't, like I'm calling an ambulance. So I was like, okay, they're probably going to be here really soon. Like Luca will go with you. Do you need me to go with you? She's like, no, Luca. 
Luca's fine to go with me. So the ambulance gets here and it's so bright. Like the whole neighborhood's like lit up with like these flashing lights. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the neighbors are probably like, well, what the it, heck is going on? It wasn't on? just an ambulance that showed up, but because of the snowstorm, they actually had to call a fire truck too, just yeah. to be able to clear the way. Because yeah. they couldn't get a plow, so they just plowed through with a huge truck. Yeah. So it was definitely quite the light show and we it definitely scared the neighbors. And so a few paramedics came in and they were kind of talking to Mandy, trying to, you know, check on her vitals and stuff. We were upstairs just trying to mind her, like we were listening. <laughs> we weren't just, minding our business, we were listening. Yeah. <laughs> we were listening just to make sure everything was okay. But also the first thing that we heard when we came in was one of the paramedics and you hear Winnie start to growl a little bit. It's like, what is that she's wearing? Why is she wearing a skirt? Yeah, because she had her, uh, she had her cone her on. Cone on. Winnie. Yes. Hi. <laughs> She's clearly not listening to the story. But the paramedic was like, why is she wearing a sweater or a skirt or something? And I'm like, oh my gosh. They're probably wondering what the heck is on her head because her comb does not look normal. <laughs> no, it does not. No. It has ears on it. But she was like barking and growling at them. I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway though, um, Mandy and Luca went to the hospital and I don't really know what happened while they were there. I just know she's okay now. And I don't know if she's gonna do a story time on this. So that's why I'm not gonna give too many details. So she has some stuff to tell you guys. I just wanted to tell our point of view because I was woken up suddenly and I was so worried about her. She was at the hospital for a few hours and she came home and she's okay. Like she rested yesterday and she's back at work now so she's okay. I do have, I was kind of wondering if maybe, well Ty was saying this, maybe it was the water at the cottage we were at because we were told not to drink the water at all because it wasn't clean. So we were cooking with the water quite a lot and eating from like the pot with water in it. So I don't know if that was well, the problem because Ty wasn't feeling well afterwards. The owner said it was well water and when I used to live in country properties, that's all you had. And now you don't drink the water because there's a lot of dissolved materials in it like iron, sulfur, stuff like that where a lot could get you really sick. Yeah. <laughs> and cooking with it is usually fine, especially when you boil it, it gets rid of most of the bacteria or any of the other things you don't want in there. But it was just the frequency everybody was using it. Because since we went up to the cottage, everybody brought pasta. Boxed pasta. Yeah. So almost every single meal that people were eating it was boxed pasta was in boxed water. Pasta boiled in that water. And when I was living in, out in the country, we would only make pasta maybe once a week. So that's yeah. why we weren't too bad. And I only had one, but my stomach being as sensitive as it is, it was feeling a little wonky afterwards. I don't blame the cottage. They warned us. Yeah. It's just, you always have to be careful. with. Yeah. So it, it might have been the cottage and water. And also like, I feel like when you're in a new place for a few days and you're just kind of eating junk food and like... Yes. Not really eating all, all healthy. Of a sudden, eating junk food and no vegetables whatsoever. It, that wreaks havoc on your system too. Yeah, so I think we were all feeling it, and Mandy just had the worst case of all of us, really. So um, I'm just glad she's okay now. And yeah, in case you guys were worried, because I don't know if she's gonna get a video up talking about it for a few days because she's working. So just wanted to let you guys know that she is okay, but she might do a story time talking about what happened in the ambulance, in the hospital. I'm not too sure what she wants to do. But anyways, that is story time. But we're okay. Mm -hmm. We're doing okay. Yeah. Just, just slightly sleep deprived, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm just, I hope the ambulance bill is not too crazy because Ty was saying it's kind of expensive to call an ambulance. It, it, unfortunately, where we live, they, they've privatized the emergency services, so yeah. you get charged when you use them. It sucks, but that's just part of how it is. We mean, do you want to be in a vlog? Does she want to be in an ambulance? Probably not. We have to we have to call the vet for her actually speaking about sick people <laughs> sick people We got to get her eye checked again, and um, we're gonna get her paw checked even though her paw's been okay mm. Since we've been home. It hasn't got blood again or anything. So I think she's okay Well, she's a lot happier now that we haven't been using the cone on her She seems to have forgotten for the most part the habit of scratching her eye like crazy. Yeah She's looking good a little chubby, but she's looking good a little chubby Oh, well, she's a little relatable <laughs> Do you know what I noticed? I noticed that whenever I'm like filming, I always touch my nose. Yeah. Do you notice that? I, I, I don't know of why. Course I do. It's like while I'm talking, I feel like there's an itch there, but there's really not. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, it, it's like that one guy posted, it was one YouTuber, saying that editing your videos is basically you staring at a screen for a couple hours, realizing every single like minor interaction you do with yourself. Yeah. You're stuttering, you're stammering. Like I know with me, I go, mm-hmm, 
all the time. You Even do. I, like I, I approve my own questions. So yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I ask a question and they go, mm hmm. <laughs> I do that. I stammer a lot, so I say I, 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 I quite a fair bit. Yeah. I usually cut it out for the most part, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> Winnie really likes <laughs> chewing on her toy. That's her thing. With you, it's always touching your nose. I always touch or my hair. Or your hair. It's hair or nose. Or you go like this. So guys. Yeah. Always before you say so, you go. Really? Yeah. When I was young, my mom had to tell me not to do that. Really? Yeah. Because you did it a lot? When I was a little kid, I would just do it and it would annoy people. I didn't know I did it. That and saying ain't. Because that's not proper grammar, so I got You in said ain't? I used to, but I would get in trouble if I said ain't. Oh, I thought you said I said ain't, and I'm like, I don't think I've ever said ain't, like, ever. Well, you just did, so. Just me. We're gonna have to cut that out. She's having a great time. We've been trying to take off her cone for the daytime when we can monitor her, and we put it on at night when we're not with her, and she's been good so far. Like, she has not itched at all. Um, if she does, obviously, we'll have to put it back on during the days, but we're hoping she's forgotten about, like, itching, because that would be great, because she's so much happier without her cone. Like, we noticed such a huge change in her behavior. Like, when the cone's off, she's happy, she's running around. She's she like, actually enjoys this place without her cone on. I know, but when we put it on, I feel like she hates us, but it's for her own protection, but she's been good. Mm -hmm. Like she's been a lot better, so. Well, it's also been because I've been staying in the kitchen all day. Yeah. Pretty much every day for the past little while now because I've been painting. Yeah. I haven't been running around hiding from Winnie, so she's been mauling me all day. Yeah. So she's happy about that. Yeah, she's gonna love this weekend because my parents, so Mandy, Luca, my parents, and I think my Nana and Poppy, they're all going to Buffalo for the weekend, so we have to go to my parents' house to kind of like house sit and babysit Dozer. Babysit Dozer. Babysit. He's not a baby anymore. Old man sit. Yeah, he's too old to be by himself for too long, so we're gonna be at the house for three days with Winnie and with Dozer. Dozer, do you hear Dozer's name? Do you like Dozer? Dozer doesn't like you. Dozer like dreads when she comes over. He's always but. so happy when we <clears> come <throat> over without Winnie. I know. He stands on the stop of the. Uh, at the stop of the. At the stop of the. <laughs> at the top of the stairs, yeah. and he has a big grin on. But when we bring Winnie, you see the grin like fade slowly, I know. and he gets really sad, and then walks back into your parents' room. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll have a good time though. We'll all get along. We'll all sit on the couch together. She's not listening at all. She's just biting well, away. It, it, it's a little difficult for her because she doesn't really speak English. It's pretty much like me just all of a sudden spouting out a whole bunch of French right in front of you. You might get a little bit of it, but you won't really understand it, so you not might really. just kind of do your own thing. I'll just like nod and smile. I know what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, though, I have to go film, guys, so we're gonna go now. But that was the... See, story. I told you you do it. <gasps> <laughs> I just did it! Oh my gosh, we, we should do like a whole video on our bad habits because we have a lot. And like you can point out mine and I can point out yours because you, you have so many Yeah, habits, but so then I discuss. feel like you're just going to make me seem like a terrible human being. No! Mm -hmm. No, but just like goofy habits, not like anything terrible. She's, oh my probably, gosh, she's the cutest dog ever! She's probably tired of our shenanigans. Yeah, she's like, why are you guys sitting on the floor? It's because if we don't, she's gonna cry. <laughs> now we have to sit right amongst her so she doesn't scream every time we do a vlog. Yeah, you, you screamer. Anyways, we're gonna get going now. <laughs> she's just staring at me, she's so cute. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Don't worry, Mandy is a-okay now. She's cool. And you like one of your French guys, Jack. What? <laughs> Look at the pose I'm doing. Oh, I was like, what are you saying? You can't see the rest of me because of your hair. There you go. Paint me like one of your French girls. Or sorry, is it draw me like one of your French girls, Jack? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen is Titanic it draw or paint? in a long time. He draws her. I haven't seen Titanic in a long time because I really don't care for it. Oh, we have to watch it together. There was room on the door for two of them, okay? Okay, that's the argument the everyone selfish. makes. Anyways, guys, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye! See you guys.